Hi everyone, Tiffany here, and I am at work in my office, but I thought I would share with people um, what I have in my office makeup bag. So things that I think, you know, are suitable for office wear. Um, for me, it's a little different because my boss, essentially, he is very open to me wearing, you know, colorful eye makeup and things of that nature, colorful lips, um, because he knows how I am and I express myself as an individual with colorful makeup. So I thought I would go ahead and share what's in this huge bag. Um, I got this bag at Ulta. I had gotten a bunch of freebies in it and so I thought it was the perfect size bag and obviously it is because it's pretty full. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I have in here is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. So I do like this for um, after I've already powdered and everything, setting my face with this. So, this is stain, stain from, I guess, eyeshadow or blush or something. But it says, hey, honey. Uh, good morning. Honey silk, honey silk facial serum. All day nourishing. I have very dry skin, okay? I'm borderline crispy. And I use this for moisturizing my face before I apply foundation. So the next thing that I have in here is very well loved. It's from a Tarte holiday collection, maybe a couple, two years ago. And it looks like this. So it comes with a bronzer, a highlight, and a blush. And as you can see, that blush is well loved. I have hit pan. I'm close to hitting pan on that bronzer. So the next thing that I have, I have two eyeshadow palettes in here. The first one is the She Palette from ColourPop. So it looks like this. ColourPop has excellent quality. Um, it's just very on par with a lot of high-end makeup and they could be charging so much more for their products but they don't and i love it so this is the first and only palette that i've bought from ColourPop, but i'm pretty sure i'm gonna get more okay so the next palette i have is from too faced and it's very very neutral it's the bonbons palette and uh looks like this So it has very neutral shades and the shade Satin Sheets, which is right here, is super pretty for a highlight. Can you see that reflectiveness? It's stunning. And I use it for inner corner highlights. I've used it as a highlighter on my face. You can't see it. But um, I have a beauty blend, not a beauty blender, <laughs> a real technique sponge that I need to clean because I used it this morning because I did my makeup here at work. I got here super early. Um, I was working on things and I was like, I need to do my makeup. So I have brushes. Let's see. I have a few face brushes. Let me get all those out. So three of these are from Luxie and one of these is a real techniques buffing brush. So let's see. I have a Luxie 504 large angled. I use this for bronzer. I have the Luxie Tapered Highlighter, obviously I use this for highlighting, and my favorite is this Luxie Blush Brush. It's pretty flimsy, but that, you know, helps it keeps it from being too, like, it picks up product wonderfully and distributes it, distributes it in a way that makes it look so nice on the skin. Uh, the next thing I have, I need to get rid of, because I don't like this. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye's Pores Pressed Powder. It's a deluxe sample. Ooh, and it's broken, and it just crumbled everywhere. That's going in the trash right now. So I don't like that anyway. It's it's not good. It makes me look, oh my gosh, like dead, mummified. I don't know. Like, and it, it's got such a bad white cast, so I'll end up looking like some kind of dry, crispy vampire or something. So, I have a foundation. I had two other foundations, but I took them home because they're going to go into an empties video soon. So, I have the Revlon Color Stay, and this is my favorite foundation. It works very well uh, with my dry skin, which is interesting because it says combination oily, but it really looks good on mine. So, um, I have the shade 150 Buff. Now I have a couple concealers. Uh, one of them is the Tarte Shape Tape. It's almost out. I need to replace it. This is in Fair Neutral. And then I have a Maybelline New York 
uh, Fit Me Concealer in the shade 15 Fair. It's almost a little too dark, um, and I know they made it extensive shades, so I'll have to check on that. So let's see. I have three eyeshadow brushes that I keep. Ugh, now there's white powder on everything. Great. Um, so two of these, let's see, one of them I think was Miss, oh, it's done rubbed off. Uh, da -da -da -da. can't read it. So I got this in an Ipsy bag a while back. The other is a Luxie medium angled brush. I love Luxie brushes and I get them in my Ipsy bag. They're my favorite. And then I have an e.l.f. smudger brush. So I just use this for the lower lash line. The next thing that I have is got ugh, that white powder all over it. You can see there's some on my hand. Um, is the Specifica Coconut Blush. This is in the shades Beaming and Tender Heart. They look like this. They're just perfect everyday color blushes. Love them. In case I have any makeup mistakes, I have this Lumine uh, Pure Arctic Miracle Micellar Water. So I use that. And there's some some more powder. Because it just crumbled onto everything as soon as I pulled it out. I have some lippies in here. Let me get these pulled out. I have different shades. And there's more powder. <laughs> get a napkin. Okay. So, I have multiple shades, just depending. Sometimes, like, I'll bring one from home and then I end up forgetting it here. So, okay, that's all of them. I have a Bare Minerals Matte Liquid Lip in Swag. It's just a real nude color. I have a Sephora, let's see, Rouge Cream in, I think this is just red. So... I like keeping minis here at work. And I have a Lime Crime Diamond Crusher in the lit. These are gorgeous. And this camera will not do it justice. Uh, like it's pink and it has like reflex green, gold, orange. It's stunning. I have this MDM Flow. I got this in an empty bag, I believe. Liquid Lip in Retro. I do like it. I have an Oprah, Ofra liquid, Oprah. Huh. I have an Ofra liquid lip and Ipsy unzipped. It's just a berry mauve shade. I'm not really a fan of the Ofra liquid lip formula. I thought I would be. It's so hyped, but I didn't like it. It gets like sticky. So after I've like been sipping on water, it like gets sticky and tacky. And I'm wearing a Too Faced Melted Matte right now in Bend and Snap. And I love this formula. It's so much better. Um, I also really like this Koki Kissable Liquid Lipstick. It's somewhat comparable to the um, Too Faced Melted Mattes. But I feel it doesn't last as long. And it's a slightly less pigmented. So it's a bit more drier. The, the uh, Too Faced Melted Mattes are quite liquidy. Um, then I also have, but not in a bad way, so they're not going to run. Like, once they dry, they set. Um, and a little goes a long way. So this is an Urban Decay Vice Waterproof Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. I love this formula, too. This is in the shade Amulet. It's kind of like, um, a warm pinky shade. So, which seems to be, like, most of the color family I choose. Also have, um, a highlighter set. It's got powder on it. Um, this is from City Color. It's the Highlighting Trio. And, yeah, I like it. It does the job. Let's see. I have a super mini version that's covered in that It Cosmetics powder. Super mini version of the Laura Mercier powder. I do like this. I think it is quite good. I usually use it to powder, um, my concealer under my eyes so that it doesn't budge. And my nose, because foundation does not like staying on my nose. For brows, I have this um, Anastasia Brow Wiz. This is in the shade, what is it, medium brown. So I use that. I have a few mascaras that I bounce back and forth between. None of them I like, really. They're just okay. 
So one of them is a Clinique High Impact Mascara. Doesn't really do anything for my lashes. Um, the white end does, the black end does not. I also have this Marc Jacobs. Uh, this is the Ultimate Mascara. No, it's Velvet Noir. And this can really make your lashes clumpy if you're not careful. Um, I'm going to use it up and finish it, but I wouldn't buy the full size. I'm glad I tried the Deluxe. And then I also have this Lancome. Big is the new black is the shade. Monsieur Big. It's a Deluxe sample. Um, this one's pretty much the same thing. The Marc Jacobs one and this Lancome one to me are identical in formula. So, I have, let's see, a couple liners. I have the Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Crayon. It's just in the shade black. Um, it does, you can twist the bottom and it comes up. Same for this It Cosmetics No Tug Waterproof Gel Liner. This It Cosmetics one is much better than the Marc Jacobs. And I do like Marc Jacobs eyeshadow. Um, and so I was like, okay, the mascara, the eyeliner, you know. What on earth is going on? Okay, it's just shadow. Like, shadow from up there. It looked like my eyeshadow was like all kinds of messed up. But it's not. Sorry. So, anywho. Um, this one is much more black. And it stays. This one fades on the waterline easily. But this one stays. So... I have a sample of a Clinique foundation. I think this is the acne prone foundation. I have a deluxe that I use sometimes. It's the Benefit Gimme Brow. So like I said, I like carrying mini versions here to work because it saves space. Um, when you have other things like palettes and stuff that are in the way. I do have an eyeshadow duo from Smashbox. And it looks like this. And it's in the shade. It's Golden Hour Eyeshadow Duo in Turned On and Psyched. I'm not sure which is which. I also have a deluxe cover again in that it cosmetics powder. <sighs> Photo Finish Radiance Primer. I use this sometimes since I am dry. Um, I like natural looking foundation. I like full coverage. But I like natural finish. So, I like some glow, and since I am dry, I don't have much glow, so I'll use that. Um, I also have this Pixie by Petra. This is the Orchid Ornament Mesmerizing Mineral Duo. So, it's just a super light pink and a kind of um, a dark muted purple. Next thing I have is from what is this brand called it's got a little oh barfly highlighter i got this in an ipsy bag it's in the shade candlelit it's a cream stick highlighter looks like this it's a very light kind of pinky champagne color and i like it but you have to apply it with your fingers because if you apply it straight with the stick it'll take off your foundation so the last thing, and my gosh, it's covered in the powder too, is this L'Oreal Paris, the Super Slim Infallible 12-Hour Liquid Liner. Um, that's what I'm wearing today. I do like it, but I probably won't repurchase. I'll try something else. This does not handle watery eyes. So it says 12-hour, but it's not waterproof. Um, I... I'm one of those people with sensitive eyes, so this eye especially gets super watery. And so right over in here, it'll start to run. doesn't look so good. So that is everything. This thing is pretty much empty. Got like a tag in there and some trash that needs to go away. But, and all that powder that has fallen um, that I have to clean up. But that's it. Um, so that's what I keep in my work makeup bag. can be a lot, but, you know, makeup can vary. You don't have to wear the exact same thing every day. So I like to have options, and I like to have, of course, the tools, the brushes to do it. Um, Sometimes, you know, this is only if I forget to do my makeup in the mornings, like while I'm at home. While I'm at home, of course, I have a much more extensive um, products, more products that I can use, more palettes and everything. Uh, I, I have a lot more. I kind of collect. So, um, this is, like I said, this is only for when I've forgotten to use it or I need to touch something up, something like that. 
So I hope you enjoy this video and I hope it helps those of you who are, you know, maybe starting a job in a, like um, an office setting and you're like, what, what, what kind of makeup should I wear? What to do? Uh, things like that. Um, so I hope this helps and I hope you have a great day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you have a great day and take care. Bye-bye.